Greetings. Got my glasses on. Hey, what's up? Wholeness, greetings. All right. Told you we'd be here again. Um, how do you like the last episode put out about the sin, the sin, and sin? Yeah. Awesome. Um, just greetings to everybody, them that listen all the time, them that uh, are new, those who get back to me, those who like, those who send messages, those who text, those who email, and those who have kind of built certain aspects of a connection that are looking to ante up their mindset, their consciousness into different levels of consciousness, right? That's why we're here. This is what this is all about. We call it the West Coast Uncensored because that which is censored, we're about reverse engineering that and leading people to truth, not uh, hiding them into a situation of darkness and ignorance. Um, yeah, so much, so much, and so much that is the more you even open up and grow to realize you, you, you know there's not much, there's stuff you don't know. I was sharing with a brother the other day. What we know and have been awakened to from the sleep of what we were in before. But we also realize, we talked about this, think about this. We're still snoozing to what we don't know yet and haven't came into. Maybe some, some unleashing more. Some reality balance, frequency, vibration of, of more degrees, but also more wisdom of what to do with the, the knowledge you have. G getting Knowledge is good to get you to the ledge, right? You got to go knowledge. Once you get to that ledge, that's when you step up into the whiz, the wise of the dome. Here, right? Your dome. Your dome. Your temples. Your structure, right? Equipped fully. With even the thing, way things are named. But I told you we were going to get on some good stuff here, man. We really were. We're going to get a little deeper. So if you don't get it, file it. That's the best way to do. If you don't fully understand something, file it. Because when it's open to you, it will open to you and you go in that file and you'll understand it. Believe me, I, I've dealt with this for 30 years. I call it the filing and unfiling, right? You file it because you don't comprende it. Comprende it. Comprend. Comprende at a certain time, but when it's time for you to walk into that, waken from the sleep that you're in to the next level, and you get it, and you grasp it, and it becomes now your revelation, right? Right? It becomes your. I have mentioned something that we were going to talk about in the past. We're doing it today. And how do you like Penta? Penta. Professional wrestler noticed the Lucha, Lucha Libre mask. Uh, uh, awesome. But we've talked about it. And I've mentioned it before over and over. And I tell you guys to look it up. So I said I would do it one day. This is the day that we do it. We do it on the March 17th. March 17th. I'm not going to tell you how long this lasts. I got so much going. I am going to, at this time today, make multiple recordings that will go out this week. Okay? But here we go. I've told you the General Education Board of 1907 and mentioned to you that how you need to go check that out, right? That it would open your eyes to how, and I'll take this out unless I'm reading because I see the reflection. It would open your eyes in the appropriation of agendas pushed to see where you're placed in an agenda, right? Because we have had, you know, I see in the, the tricks, the ma tricks, the matrix, right? In the womb tricks, how certain things really been pushed. But when you deep dive in it, it's not really what it seems to be, right? It's not really giving you what you think it gives you. I've said this over and over probably got on the nerves, especially people who have really bought that fish, fish line and sinker. Hook line and sinker, is that the way to say it? Yeah. But then some who have realized now, that's why even I've been watching people who have been in um, 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 different aspects of academia who now see the switch, see what the what it was, 
See, that which wasn't revealed was the truth, and that which is hidden isn't, and that which is pushed is not definitely not really close in coming out sharing truth. And I appreciate guys like Robert Seffer, especially in that, that, that field and some of the stuff he does. But anyways, let's get to this right here. The General Education Board. General Education Board was a private organization and was primarily to support higher education, medical, and in the United States to help rule. So they're going to say country white folks and black schools in the South to modernize family practices in the South. It helped them eradicate hookworm, created the uh, agency system of agriculture, linking the state of agriculture experiment stations, the agriculture practices. Keep this agriculture on your mind and you'll be able to link this with some revelation knowledge and it, it should fit. The board was created in 1902 after John D. Rockefeller doted, donated an initial one mil and then came back in, in 2002, where it's 33823000 to its cause. It has a cause and when that guy's in front of it, it usually don't work out well for us. You know, one of them familias that telling you guys um, eventually give over to a prominent uh, education board. So this general education board, which is Rockefeller, not just Rockefeller, I'm going to show you who else is involved right after it, the hundred to fund the general education board, a prominent member, Frederick Taylor Gates envisioned country school to tomorrow, wherein young and old be taught the practice ways to make Rule life, beautiful, intelligent, fruitful, recreative, healthy, and joyish. By the 1934, and, and was making grants of $5 million a year. 1934, $5 million is definitely a lot, right? So you're saying, what? what's this about? This is really about the... Um, so you have this board, right? You have this board. Um, the history of it, the programs, right? You've seen the foundations of it as who? Gates and Rockefellers. That should tell you a mouthful. This should be, if you don't know this, those who know aren't surprised. But those who don't know are like, what? Should be. You notice it talked about the South and talked about agriculture. Remember this. Animal husbandry. Just remember that thought. As we go down, we're going to go into the philosophy, and this is what really is going to blow your mind. This is what academia has been designed to do to you. In our dream, we have limited, limitless resources to yield molding hands. We shall not research the embryo great artist. We don't want great artists, painters, musicians, nor lawyers, nor doctors, nor preachers, nor politicians, or statesmen who we have ample supply. The task we set before ourselves is very simple as a beautiful one to train these people to find the perfectly ideal life just where they are so we can organize our children in little communities and teach them to do things in the perfect ways and things their fathers and mothers are doing in a perfect way, right? That's what it says. Further reading when you start going into this, why this is not telling me what it used to, and it's not. Remember, I've told you this, that they they remove stuff, and then they'll put stuff in here. But the key thing in here was to stop these types of businesses and to get you to an uh, uh, educational system, to get you to not be certain things. And in their philosophy, when you get into it, right, and the board things, which is... Uh, um, influence on the vocational and all the stuff they wanted to do was to get you to realize one thing. They wanted you to be a follower, not a leader. They didn't want you to think for yourself. They wanted you to follow. Philosophers, artists, and stuff tend to use the other side of the brain where they go into creativity in vastness, spirituality, right? We've had the Renaissance movements and these great movements that were connected to these they're actually wanting to go to the farm and think they're going to teach people farm way of living when the people in the farm living have been doing it for generations and generations and generations. And look what we have now. We've had the eradication of people over the last 100 years have left growing their own food, creating their own land, being self-sufficient. 
and relying on them to do every aspect of it, including feed you. Come on now. It's actually, we used to, th we were programmed to think farmers were dumb, dairymen were dumb, everybody had anything to do with farmers were dumb, when really they were the self-sufficient ones, and we became more reliant on who? Gates. Gates? And Rockefeller? Paquitos? I mean, really? On these guys? Come on, man. Do we... I know what they exactly are. They got an agenda. We've seen the agenda, 2010. Billy Boy Gates agenda, which is the grandson of this guy here in the 1907-1902 board meetings, right? Right along with his buddy, uh, Rockefeller, right? W Frederick T. Gates. Yeah. So the bloodlines keep it going. This school, which is really, uh, is, uh, watch this to stimulate growth and educational practice to bring men and women from the country to enlighten them. But this didn't, this didn't promote enlightenment. It told you not to be enlightened. It told you those who were enlightened who, who did these different things, we have already enough of them. We don't want you to do it. We want you to be a follower, just a good person that just believes everything we say and follow along. Come on now. This is what it's telling you. I've been telling you about this, 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 this whole thing of, of the of what this is about. What's really got me is that when I look at this, um, the grants, the money given, the people involved, the education board, when you start looking at the names and do back things on them, you're going to find out who they are, who they are connected to, to and what they were about, right? The programs. the uh, uh, And here's the key, the Department of Agriculture wanting to do it. They turned us in, right? to we are actually the animal husbandry you're the follower you're the uh, you're the uh you're the you're you're the chattel or cattle that's what they named you as is being that so when you look at the future what it says it's going to do and then the philosophy it says it's going to do right the country school of tomorrow uh the fathers and mothers are doing perfectly being followers of us and our agendas. They plan very well. They plan very well. They planned your year out. And if you want to know something, this is connected to the upper, uh, this goes into university stuff. It was for higher education in there. If you, uh, I don't know if you ever knew this, and some of you do would, would probably know this, that have, do know it, you'll know it, right? Let's do something else here, right? Is why did they do this? Why did they do it? And now we see what's happened in the school systems, what's happened in the university systems. Um, this goes back to a system from old Germany, which was called Prussia. And pr the Prussian king and the Prussian military had went into this war. They told the soldiers, go in there and do what we are asking you to do. The soldiers did not do it. They, they said, nope, we go there, we die, forget you. We're not participating and not listening to you. They came back, presented to the king. The king told the general, we have to come up with an educational system at a younger age so they become followers. Bam, bam, 19 schools, two school board meeting is the fulfillment of that. It's a Prussian system. It doesn't give you the knowledge you think you're getting. It's a programming system. It's a hub for programming to their agendas, which we see. The same Gates that was here, we've seen what his 2010 TED Talks do, how, what he thought we would do, which we've been seeing for the last night, 2019, 2020. The badge, reverse engineer it. You know what I'm talking about and what it did. And now what's all out about all these people are coming out with all these reports that you can get the information. And there's an excess of people dying that's unexplainable. And the medical field won't try to explain it. They avoid it. But the information has been put out there even by medical people. I'd see doctors all over putting it out. Other doctors from all types of uh, specialists doing it. Mostly the specialists doing it, which is which is even better than just your everyday Joe doctor 
who might be your PC, who, who all he knows is he gets paid from getting you a script, but never looks deep into what's really ailing you or what's the cause to start the ailing. Bingo. So what do you do? So you look this. This 1902 school board meeting was telling you you're the animal in the, in the farm, their farm. Animal husbandry. What I noticed in this, new, and I've been telling you this, they take information up. There is more information on the school board meeting six months ago than I see today. It just kind of capsulizes it today. And I might have to look more into this and bring some more stuff out. But because um, I didn't look at this before I went at it because I've seen it before. There was more information of what they wanted, what their philosophy and their philosophy, what they wanted. And like I said, I'll, re I'll reread the philosophy, right? Their philosophy is, is to... We do not, well, try, we don't want, we're not trying to make these people, their children, into philosophers. That's horrible. Men of learning, I mean, they want you ignorant. This is, a, this is a, their philosophy part of this meeting. It's in here. Wikipedia, look it up. They don't want you to be editors, authors. They don't want you to write books. They don't want you to be men of learning or men of science true science because that science out there is like religion now you take a real scientist and you put this this cat you know who i'm talking about this uh uh cat that you <laughs> uh can you give me a three dollar bill that's about authentic that cat is what <laughs> yeah this is what i'm talking about we we uncensor so what we have in here we we don't want painters we don't want musicians nor lawyers doctors politicians, statesmen, that's why you don't have true people fighting for your agendas because they're followers, because they've been programmed. Remember, this is 1902, 1902 to the board meeting, right? And the, the very task they set up was to train people to find them to their ideal philosophy. Not yours, not your creative ability, not who you are and the deepest parts of yourself. They don't want you to be men of learned. So obviously if they're creating not people learning anything, they're giving you propaganda. So you really aren't learning anything. You're learning a bunch of hijinks and it's hijinks. It is. I've known this for a while. I've known this, known this. I've actually felt it in my soul as a young boy that it was just something about it. It just, it's jive time and I ain't jiving with it. And I kind of knew that, that, that I was talking to somebody earlier today and say, when you really start using your intuition, it won't lead you astray. One more time. You start using your intuition and sharpening that sword within you, the initiate, the initiator, the coordinator within, activating your, init, your, your, your um, intuition, it won't lead you astray. And the more you use that intuition, the more you get comfortable with it. Guess what happens? You get better at it. You can start mastering it. One more time. True mastering. True mastering is degrees, right? That's why masonry has a, we know of 33 degrees. There's even more than that. This is about mastering self. You, true universal knowledge. One more time. True universal knowledge. Even I went over this on Days of the Word. When you look up education, you know what it says? Waking up that which is in you that you already know. They're not teaching you outside yourself some program, some propaganda, some program system outside of you for programming and propaganda to program you. Because the true daily wop is active in you. Education has nothing to do with what you learn outside of you going like this in. It comes out. That's etymology, and this is another thing that they don't teach in any course from elementary school through your degrees in college, wink, wink, is they don't treat you etymology because if you knew etymology at a young age, these okey-dokes would be kicked in the head. <laughs> you wouldn't fall for them. You'd be like, there's the punkitos again. Yeah, those jackals. You would know. You know that the promise, what they're trying to do, and everything propagating the program, right? And when I see this, it's like, this is our philosophy. We don't want to make these people into philosophers or men of learning. Think about that. 
when everything that they did being in masonry, because they are, come on, let's talk the talk. They're all masons. They're all part of secret societies, which has everything to do with knowing philosophy, which has everything to know with doing every degree of different things, every degree of learning. Come on. Oh, putting it to the open shame. Your schools that were hijacked a long time ago, you see this meeting was 1907, 1902, 1907. What's that tell you? That's over 117, 120 years ago. Ham-hocked. Ham-hocked. We have been. It's the awakening for the people. It really is. This is awakening. I ain't talking about no political, fake, woke, leftist, liberal trash. I'm talking about really waking up. Waking up to who you really are. The truth that's imputed in you from the foundations of who you are, what given to you, the equippedness, you just have to activate it. But you can't play the outside game. I had a very good talk with somebody today about when you deal like with even certain kind of people that are, because uh, um, you have these people that are empaths, right? You have that really feel, and then you have certain people that are. Uh, 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 what are they called? They go. They can go to a party and they meet everybody's their friend. Um, um, what's the word? Uh, social butterflies is a term I like to use. Introvert or extrovert, right? Then you have introvert, right? You have introverts. The extrovert's problem with this is they tend to always want to lean outside themselves and never capture the within to activate the within. Now, the other side is it's a balance of both. The introvert can go in and can find out and does need to be initiated within. There's times you need to separate from everybody or just a few and go in and go through the initiation of self. But then there's the times after you go through the initiation to share with other people, to activate with other people, to put your frequency and your vibrational field out, your energetic field out. You have to be able to be a little bit both, right? But maybe you're, ma but this is where both sides this is where it's a balance of this and this is what i wanted to even leading into this this philosophy kills me but when you read the other stuff it has philosophy it has purpose watch this some of the things you're going to read i'm not going to go over future watch this the future of it is men and women all over the country to promote enlightenment and sympathetic understanding of south's educational problems the reconstruction period that's a long time ago now right because you notice it was about poor whites and blacks in the south Meaning they wanted to change them out of their mindsets. And those mindsets way back in the day were not to follow the feds. A lot of people did not trust the feds. You're going to go back to the South and North thing. you got to understand both the whole thing of the South and North and not just demonize the South. Yeah, I said it because it's not. This is an aspect of both, right? Balance. And here's the thing I want to leave with, because I have gone 23 minutes, but I knew that some of my videos are a little bit longer these days because of where I'm at, what I'm going through, and what I'm doing, right? Is notice this. Really notice this. This is, go to the Wikipedia page for the 1907 school board meeting, and you can read the implications, or uh, uh, you, can, you're, you can read the philosophy, and the philosophy really tells you what to do. You're going to start out with the purposes that animal husbandry notice they think you're the cattle and chattel you're the animal husbandry they're talking about again not just farms you're they're farming us come on now wake up to the next level that for you then they have the future then they had like i said you start looking at the programs their, their implications in the future the philosophies when they tell you what they want you to be we want to organize our children in a little community and teach them to do, to, to do in a perfect way things their fathers and mothers are doing in a perfect way in the homes, in the shops, and on the farm, right? What it's telling you is after we program all this stuff, we want to create, you know, they're always going to give you that song and dance to sound both sides because they're good at, at, at that. But when you decode them, you see them coming all the time. When, when you know them, you know them. Right, you know the, the, how they operate, and I want to leave this with this. I've been really looking at things a little dif differently. I've had some very vast awakening since of next level since since the fall. Really have since late September, October. I went through some tough times in November, and in there, I had it was like a death for me. I'm telling you what I'm talking about. Take it metaphorically, spiritually, 
Gnostic wise. Take it that way. That's what I mean. It didn't happen physically, but it happened. It didn't happen in this physical, but it happened. Them that know will know what I'm talking about was. If you notice this reality that we live in, it's always escaped with this. Prey chased by a predator and then a scapegoat. That's the reality we live in. Why is, if you notice, nothing's a balance in this reality. You're either so far left like we are now with all the BS out there in the, in the world. And this is us looking at the system or the world. That's where we got to take our, I really believe, take our, our focus off that. Be aware, because there's some stupid stuff out there. Especially if you have children and stuff. But also take your focus back into you and your power and your reality to create and interject your field, right? Because I'm going to start talking about this in a way that I believe that I'm seeing that we need to really start and I need to start doing into a next level startup, right? Um, it was everything, if you notice, everything's pray. I mean, we're so far left. This, the, this political situation, the left, is not left of center anymore. It's so far left that it's double dip, triple dip communism. Facts, right? With just no responsibility. Nobody takes responsibility. Everybody's a victim. And I've went over in, in past months how the victim frequency lowers your frequency where you can't create. It will lower your frequency and make you... Yeah, it really lowers your frequency until you become not credible to even yourself. So, but it's always play the victim. And then we see, where's the man? I mean, that aspect is, is definitely there. Everything is, you know, the, the, the man's man is, is toxic. So, so imbalanced. So far left that if it came up 200,000 miles right, still be a commie. Right? But then, are we going to, circle back and go into the middle of center because this is about being centered middle you your walk spiritually awakened centered balanced it's about balance right how many times have i i, I mentioned this in the past we'll go back and watch past videos um that if you looked at the walindas the, the walinda family who are high wire walkers right it was always a bounce balance when you're walking over between buildings on a wire, high wire walking, you, and they would have a pole and walk like this because the pole would keep them balanced. Notice the pole, polarization, poly tricks, poly ticks. When they say, oh, let's go to college and learn political science. The political science is a pole. Stop ham hocking us. It's a pole. And the poles are meant to be balanced if you're going to operate in the balance of of neutralism or your power place, not living in judgment to the left or right, but being balance centered. But if we go so far left and say there's a change, are we going to go so far right into balance with the system? Think about this. This is something I've been thinking about for about 24 to 30 hours. Are we going to go so far right that now we're so far right? Because what I'm seeing in the system over and over again, it never, it never Get ready for it. It never, get ready for it, get ready for it. It never promotes our defaults into balance. Never. Think about it. Let that sink in. The only one that can do this is you. For thyself. Know thyself. We're getting real today. The system will never go, and let's here. Yeah, we're here. We're going to serve everybody. The people are, are great. The people are right. Let's serve the people. Let's serve the people. Let's have a unity of one. We've had so much division that it can't go. It, the, the settings don't go here. The settings go, wah, 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 wah. Because look at everything. Start analyzing it. Start looking at it. Open that third eye. Start act, having your discernment on. Notice that everything in this reality. Notice there's a scripture that says the God of this world. The Demiurge, right? Never balances to a, the, default, the, the default setting in the system, the program, never goes to centered. It always goes off balance. Think about that one. We'll get to you again. This was about the 1902 board meeting and... Uh, this is D-Boy, West Coast Uncensored. You guys have a great day.